Welcome back. Today I have 15 more jailbreak tweaks that compatible with iOS 13.5. You can see on the first one here, you can see we have the new color for icon label and on the icon label itself, you can see we have the new color as well. So to customize your icon label, you can go back to settings and make sure you install label changes. So we have here, I can change the color on label. So let me go to yellow and then I can click on done. And you can also change the label border. So I'm gonna go to, let's say go to blue. And then we have um, the label size here. You can also change the label size. And then you can respring. Now on the icon label, so you can see we have the new color right here. So for this one, it is um, the tweak for reachability. But for this one, it allows you to lock your device when you invoke reachability. For me, reachability isn't very useful. So I think I should install it quick and then I can share with you guys. When I go back to home screen right here, and when I invoke reachability, you can see instead of um, reachability, my phone is locked. Move on to color 3D icons. And for this one, it's gonna change the color on your 3D touch menu. So when I go back to my home screen, now let me force touch on the app. And you can see we have the new line right here and also the icon. You can see um, we have the new color on the 3D touch icon right here. And you can customize in settings, go back to settings. And you can select the icon color right here. So let me go to blue. And then I can change the color on blank separator. So let me select on this one and then we have um, the separator, the small separator here. So I'm gonna go to this one and then I can just um, go back to my home screen without having to respring. I can just force touch again and you can see we have the new color right here. We have perfect control center right here that allow you to enhance control center. Now let me invoke control center right here you can see here all of the button now has been pushed down and you can reach with one hand and one more thing you can see on the brightness we also have the percentage and even on the volume right here and all of the icon are round and even on the uh, music player it is also round and even here and you can see you can customize in settings so you can go back to setting right here and you can customize the size and then you can enable this button. If you enable this one, it's gonna ask you before you click on some button. So like respring or save mode and UI cuts and so on. Tap tap flip allow you to switch between back camera and front camera much faster. Just double tap on your camera. And you can see here now it goes into front and I can double tap to go back to the rear camera right here. Move on to this one, which allow you to run the app in today view. So it is pretty awesome and also useful. Now when I go back to my home screen and spy all the way to today view, and you can see we have calculator and you can replace with the new application as well. So I'm gonna go back to my settings and then I can go to the tweaks and then I can select on application right here. And you can select the application that you want to launch. Let's say I'm gonna go to Facebook, so I can select here. And then when I go back and swipe all the way here, and you can see Facebook is running here. Don't let you choose between light mode and dark mode and for some specific element. So you can see here, we have banner and notification where you can select dark or light mode. And then on dark, you can also select um, light mode individually. And then on widget, you can select as well. So I'm gonna go to light. And on notification center, let's go to dark. And folder, I'm gonna go to light. And now when we go back, you can see on dark here, it is in light mode. And then when I go to my widget right here, it is in light mode. And now on my folder, it is also in light mode. But in fact, dark mode is enabled, you can see here. Camera features is very useful for all the device. So you can install this one and I'm gonna enable here. And it, it gonna add the new feature from the iPhone 11 to your older device. So I'm gonna enable Pro's type plus features. And then I'm gonna respring my device. And I'm gonna respring here. Now when I go back to camera, 
and you can see here we have zoom button where you can select 1 8 2 8 and 3 8 and you can select here this is 2 8 and then you can select here this is 3 8 or you can just manually zoom or um, unzoom right here and then we also have quick tag where you can go to video by file like that or you can just go back to um, take a photo and then on video right here where you can configure video resolution right here inside camera app and I can select this one to go to 4k and then I can just um, select this one to change the frame rate and you can see we have um, 60 frame and then we have slow motion right here so we can also change this one as well alert controller will change the way that you interact with alert so you can see here I'm gonna show you the example alert when I click here it doesn't um, dismiss so if you um, enable this button and now when I go back to the example here and I can just click on somewhere to dismiss the alert and you can see the alert has been dismissed this is a pretty awesome tweak that brings back iOS 6 lock screen to your new iOS version and even though you have iOS 13.5 the tweaks is still working so I'm gonna go back to my lock screen right here and now you can see how slide to unlock and how the camera button where I can just swipe up to go to camera and you can see here and then I can just um, slide here just like iOS search. I can slide here to unlock my device but I need to confirm with my face ID and as soon as it is recognized my face the device will be unlocked for this simple tweak, it's gonna add auto brightness button to control center. So now let's go to control center and I can just force touch on the brightness. And you can see the new button here, which allow you to enable auto brightness. So I can enable this one. Now for those of you that want to respring your phone much faster, you can install this one. It's gonna add the application to your home screen where you can just click on it to respring your device straight away. So when I click on it and you can see my device is respring. For this simple tweak, it's gonna add haptic feedback when you hold to view the notification from the lock screen. So if I hold on here, it's gonna give me a little bit of haptic feedback. So you need to install it to feel it. Finally, go to Color Banner 3. So, Color Banner 3 has been updated to iOS 13.5, and you can now install and um, use Color Banners without having any issues on iOS 13.5. You can see here the supported version is from iOS 13 to 13.5. Finally, thanks for watching. I hope you like all of these tweaks, and then I will catch you guys in the next one. And if you want to get this, theme and wallpaper the link can be found in my video description